Folks, the wait is over. I've been teasing you about this TV for weeks, I know, but I'm not gonna hold you any longer. It's time to talk about the TCL X11L. Welcome back to Caleb Braided, everyone. I am Caleb Dennison, and yes, this is the TV that I've been hinting at several times over the last few weeks. I've had to keep uh, a tight lid on it. This is the one that has uh, some very special technology in it. Um, I have said that while RGB backlighting is a great evolution of that type of technology, I feel like this is more of a revolution of uh, a TV technology that we've had for some time. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, one way to, to get something dismissed as pure marketing hype is to add the word super, ultra, or pro. So my concern here is that when you hear the term super quantum dot that you might just be like, oh, okay, it's just super now. It really is super. Here's the deal. I called my friends, they are the ones who are responsible for making quantum dots. And I asked them, what's so super about the new super quantum dots that I'm seeing in TCL's X11 LTV? Because I saw the TV gobsmacked at the brightness, the color saturation, everything about it looked amazing. I was like, what are you doing? Uh, and, and so what they told me was in order to get the quantum dots, uh, specifically the red and the green colors, to be more accurate and more efficient, and if you're a super nerd and you're looking at an SPD or a spectral power distribution chart, you want to see very, very thin, very, very tall peaks of color in this little graph, right? You want to see a, not a sloping hill or a sloping mountain. You want stiff, tight peaks, right? And what that means is you've got very pure color, and that means that your color filter doesn't have to work very hard. That means you get lots of color brightness, lots of overall brightness coming out of the TV because the color filter doesn't have to steal a bunch of light out of it. What's the deal with these super quantum dots? What they told me was nothing short of fascinating. And the quantum dots are only half the equation. So in order to make these quantum dots more pure, uh, more pure green, more pure red, activated by the blue backlight, they had to make a tweak to an already tiny little particle that is tantamount to the adjustment of about one quarter of the size of a hydrogen atom in order to make this little glowing thing more exacting. Think about that for a second. One quarter the size of a hydrogen atom to get better color out of a TV. That is some ridiculously insane science. And what's even crazier about it is that they also had to do this consistently over and over and over and over so that they could make an entire vat of these quantum dots that would ultimately get deposited on a sheet that goes in this particular TV. So when the blue light shines on the red and green quantum dots, super quantum dots now, you get a much more pure white color for the color filter to work with. But like I said, that's only half of the equation. In order to take advantage of these new highly pure quantum dots, they needed to change the color filter in the TV because the color filter would also need to be more exacting, more precise. Here's the problem with that. You don't just put a new color filter into a TV. You have to shut down your entire production line, bring in new machines, and manufacture a new color filter layer for your TV. Doing that costs millions of dollars. Nobody wants to do that. Panel manufacturers are busy making money by manufacturing panels and shipping them out to various different customers. What TCL said was, you know what? We're kind of the only people that, we can, that can do this, TCL CSOT. So they said, you know what, we're gonna do that. Shut things down, they uh, changed the fab, and they now have this new color filter that they can pair with the super quantum dots, which is why you're only hearing about super quantum dots from TCL right now. They're the only ones that chose to do it. Now, here's another thing that I would fully understand if you wanted to be dismissive. It's like, well, TCL's just coming out here being contrarian because everybody else is coming out with RGB backlighting. So we're just gonna go a different way and we'll just do this super quantum dot thing. Not true. First of all, TCL also has RGB backlit TVs that we'll be hearing a little bit more about later this year. No, they chose to do this because they think it has unique applications and unique benefits, and I have to agree with them. The TV looks fantastic. Some of the issues that are kind of inherent to using an RGB backlight structure are not present here. Also, you can use an existing 
uh, backlight structure when you're just changing the quantum dots and the color filter that are going in there. So all of that science stuff aside, what are we actually getting out of this TV? Well, 100% BT2020 coverage, which you're hearing a lot about at the show, right? Uh, only I think that we're gonna see some of that happening outside of just color test patterns. We're gonna see those BT2020 uh, colors in real content because the issue with crosstalk is minimized to a very significant degree. I know that's a lot of technical information, but I feel like it's worth sharing because that's what makes this TV so incredibly special. Honestly, I don't know that there's another TV here at CES that you'll walk by that is more stunning at just first glance than this one. And the more you stare at it, the better it seems to get, which is not always the case. I haven't even gotten to what might be the best news here. This TV, the X11L, you can buy it right now. Right now. You actually, I mean, you're, you're four hours late. By the time you watch this video, you could have already bought one of these things. So here's the deal. It comes in 75, 85, and 98 inches and it's currently priced at $7,000, $8,000, and $10,000 respectively. It's a little bit pricey. Brand new technology tends to cost a lot of money. But here's the thing, think forward for a little bit. This is coming out now. By the time we get down the road into the late summer and the fall months, we start looking at the holidays of uh, 2026, just imagine how far the price will have come down by then. I wouldn't wait though. I jump on this right now. If you wanna be the cool kid on the block with the hottest new TV, this is the one. I mean, bar none, this is, this is the one that you should absolutely get. And the fact that you can get it now, nobody launches a TV at CES except for maybe TCL last year. They did it with the six series. Turned out pretty well for them. No surprise they decided to do it, but I'm surprised they're doing it with a flagship level TV like the X11L. Now folks, I have to calm myself down just a little bit because I've been pretty excited. So let's take a more practical, like editorial look at this. Uh, what is not to love about this TV? Fact is, I don't know. Uh, I need to test it. Here's the good news. You're not gonna have to wait very long. One of these TVs is on its way to me right now. I'm gonna have a 98 inch TCL X11L to unbox and give you first impressions of and then review in just a matter of weeks, which seems like now might be a great time to make a very special announcement. We are moving. I know we just moved. We're moving again to an amazing new space. You heard it here first. I've got a new studio build out happening in Portland. It's a big, sprawling, beautiful new space where we can take something like a 98 inch X11L and really show it off. There's no TV size, no projector size that we can't handle in the new space. And I can't wait to show you the build out this will be the first TV that we feature there, which I'm very excited about. I'm excited to move. I'm excited to get this TV. I think you should be excited to get this TV. And now you absolutely can. We'll have links to purchase this TV down in the description if you wanna haul off and do that right away. And if you do, definitely let me know down in the comments. I wanna hear all about it. I wanna hear what your first impressions are like. Uh, and I know everybody else does too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video as exciting as it was for me to make it. I'll see you on the next one. And until then, take care of yourself. You should also hype this video up, like hype it up a lot. <clears throat> Hi, how's it going? <laughs>